Greetings everyone and thanks for joining us on this Paranormal Pit Stop. Tonight, we'll be exploring a popular historic expanse located northwest of Philadelphia in the township of Schuylkill, Pennsylvania, that once acted as the site of a significant Revolutionary War encampment, accommodating around 1.2 million annual visitors across its 3,500 acres, and rumored to be haunted by restless spirits tied to its past. Are you prepared to brave the ghosts of the Valley Forge National Historical Park? Historically, circa 1751, what was called the Mount Joy Forge and later the Valley Forge, and that was purposed in the conversion of pig iron to usable bar iron, had been established off East Valley Creek, which was a tributary of the Schuylkill River, and was put up for sale under owners Daniel Walker, Stephen Evans, and Joseph Williams. Sadly, through September of 1777, this forge was destroyed under British assault, and through early December of the same year, George Washington and his army would actually entrench on the Montgomery County side of the creek just opposite its remains. After which, from December 19th to June 19th of the following year, a bulk of the Continental Army, which was comprised of around 12,000 fighters, would utilize Valley Forge ruins as a camp, during which time Washington's headquarters were held within the stone house of Isaac Potts. In 1893, Valley Forge was officiated under the Valley Forge Park Commission as the first state park in Pennsylvania, with the area surrounding Washington's former headquarters selected as its center. In 1961, the site was designated a U.S. National Historic Landmark. In 1966, the expanse was honored on the National Register of Historic Places, and in 1976, the property would be recognized as a National Historic Park, with said merits not confined to park bounds alone, but also extending to four additional properties just outside of its perimeter, being to the former house of the Marquis de Lafayette and to other officers' quarters. Valley Forge National Historical Park remains open into the present, offering a visitor center, over 26 miles of multi-use trails, a museum, ranger programs, fishing holes, seasonal activities, events, and more. While supernatural happenings experienced at Valley Forge aren't believed to be the result of a battle, per se, as the site never played witness to direct confrontation, the Army's time camped out here during the Revolution would go down as one of the war's most trying periods, with around 2,000 men dying to hunger, disease, and exposure. Additionally, a range of associated artifacts and replicas are contained within exhibits across the expanse, and local legends tell a countless number of spirits restless over losing Using their mortal lives too soon remain, with both staff and visitors to the park reporting extreme cold spots felt through the heat of summer, strange winds that pick up within closed buildings and rooms, and phantom musket fire heard in the distance. Several informal investigations have yielded high EMF levels, chilling EVPs, and half-formed silhouettes captured in the backgrounds of photography, while glows from ghostly lanterns and spook lights are often spied on the horizon. Subsequently, documentation from 1895 details a string of accounts in which, and only on stormy nights, locals begin observing phantom campfires with what appeared to be troops of Revolutionary War soldiers surrounding them, that, when approached, would fade away into the surrounding dark darkness. Also reported at Valley Forge are disembodied footsteps and voices detected from empty areas, the constant feelings of being watched or of being followed by something unseen, instances of doors opening and closing on their own, and encounters with spectral soldiers that either march about or drift eerily just inches above the ground. Lastly, several have told of terrifying run-ins with the silhouette of a man hanging from a tree, who some believe is the spirit of either a thief or deserter that was executed near. And apparitions believed to be those of both Anthony Wayne and George Washington himself have been encountered, and have even been known to interact with select living at great lengths. Thanks for tuning in for this Paranormal Pit Stop. If you enjoyed our histories and ghost stories, subscribe to our channel, like this upload, and share us with anyone and everyone you know so our upcoming on-site series Sleepovers gets the welcome it deserves. Until next time.